Do you want to get ready with me? No, I want to open this. You want to open this? Yeah. Data, who's that? Data. Data who? Is that you? Cause he. Hi, friends. Hi, friends. Um, open this. No, this um, I made up. You want some? We're gonna make a drink. Do you wanna help me? Yeah. Okay. Are you a good helper? Yeah. All right. This is that. This is a coconut drink. Do you want to try some? Yeah. Okay. I want to open top. It's a little hard to open. Okay, see if you like it. Oh, careful. Do you want another sip? Did it make a weird noise? Here, you can try it. You want to try it? Do you want to try it? Uh. You don't like it? Do you want to try it again? Uh. Uh, you don't like it? Uh. Okay. Do you want water? Okay. All right, friends. We're going to get ready together. A oh, little... No. What? My legs. Your legs? What about them? What? What are you doing that for? Are you taking fake... Like sipping tea? Do you want to actually drink it? Eh. No? Eh. Eh. Okay. I guess that's enough. All right. Let's get going. Um, do you have your hair done today? Eh. She has a full vocabulary. She can talk. I'm the powder. This is powder. Do you want to put it in my drink? Yeah. Okay. Here this we go. is that. So we're, it's a coconut drink. I tried to get you to have a sip if you wanted to try it. We're going to put some collagen in. So you has their collagen deal going on right now. You can save up to 30%. Do you want to put it in? Yeah. Okay, take your scoop and put it in. Good job. That's more. No, we don't need any more. We'll put one more scoop of something else in there, okay? Today I'm going to mix it with coconut it's like the bi coconut. Um, it's only 10 calories, but it tastes yeah. really good. Uh, so open. you can save on there. This is that. This is unflavored collagen. So, pink? yeah. And then I'm going to put in blue. a little. Blue. That is pink and blue. This one's blue. We're not going to use that one today. Um, we're going to do this one, though. Do you want to put a scoop in? Yeah. All right. You got it. I know that, but two. Okay. Can you put this in here? Yeah. Mm. More. More. Please. All right, trim fit. Hello. Look, all our friends are on. Can you say hi, friends? Hi, friends. Um, yeah. um, open this. What do you want to open? That. You can mix greens in here, too, if you wanted. Um, um, they're pretty mild in flavor. I'm going to see what it tastes like, like this, and then I'll see if I want to add greens or not. I just don't like it if it's too sweet. Sometimes I'll even take this and a bottle of water and ice, and then I'll sip on it that way. This is that. It's very sweet. I'm going to have to mix it with water. Mm -hmm. I love this with just trim, and today I was like, I'm going to mix my collagen oh, okay. in here too, and I think I'm just too sweet. That. So. If you ever mm, over sweeten your stuff, if you just mm, mix water that. and ice, it's way better. I went too far. Too much of a good thing. No, you can look mm. at it, but actually you can't because you always mess up all I'll touch it. What do you want to touch? That. That? Yeah. We're going to do our skincare first. Can you help me put this on? Yeah, mm, on my face. We're going to put it on my face. No, on this. Can you help rub it in? Okay, so this is the Revive Serum. I have to order more plump. I meant to order it the other night on their 99 cent shipping, and they were, I, I just know. forgot. They want, oh, I forgot. I know. Yeah, can you put my nose? Thanks, Ada. But this is so good. It's so hydrating. It literally makes your skin look like you had a hydrofacial. Do you like that? How's it feel? 
so soft. Do you want to show them what happened to your finger? What happened? What happened to your pinky? Mm, a bumblebee. A bumblebee. Did it sting you? Yeah. It's so sad. Do you want to kiss? Like yeah. I love you. What's that? That's a little bit of spilled trim fit. I'm really disappointed about this. Um, I've never mixed collagen, trim, and the buy all together, and I thought it would be such a good idea. And it's just too sweet. Do you ever have something like that? I was really looking forward to drinking that. Um, I've done it with water. But I'll just mix more water in there. What do you want to open? That. That that is a lip liner. If you open it, I have a feeling you're gonna get messy. What are you gonna do with it? push it. Can't push it. It doesn't push. All right. Okay. Do you want to go hang out with Lala and I'll finish getting ready? Huh? Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Can you say bye friends? Bye friends. Bye friends. Um, so she has a bumblebee bite on her finger and then look, she got into an ant hill this week. Do you want to show them your foot? I wonder if you guys can see. She has little ant bites on her foot. Um, it's been a rough nature week. All right, run right there. Go to Lala. You got it? Okay, ready, set, go. Got it. Ready, set, go. Okay. Anyways, regardless of my combination that I tried today, not everything's a win, right? Uh, regardless of that, um, it still really is fantastic if you separated it. Should have not tried that live. Welcome to the internet. Okay, putting my hair up. I washed my hair this morning. I have to do some content for lunch today um, for two of their tools. And so I thought I would get ready so that I don't look like this um, for my content. I am going to go ahead and mix just a trim fit in water because I'll say less. I just, I really was looking forward to that. Um, okay, benefits of collagen are the biggest difference I can tell is skin and cellulite like just drastically helps with hair growth nail growth helps with your skin but it helps break down cellulite there's not many things you can do that help with cellulite she is so cute she, I don't, she's not talking right now but she normally talks all the time um she's totally capable of talking but she's just not I think that's how kids are. It's like if you want them to, they're not. And if you don't want them to, then they won't shut up. Okay. Right. Here we go. A little bit of primer. Primer is just going to fill in your fine lines, your wrinkles. Your pores give you a really good foundation for your makeup to sit on. So we're gonna apply that. So the weather here is kind of eh. It's been really, really, really rainy. Tomorrow I'm chaperoning a field trip to an amusement park and the forecast is 50-50 rain. So uh, just as excited as you are to chaperone uh, preteens at an amusement park, I am equally excited about trying to go find a rain jacket today and for the kids because it there is a huge possibility it is a no like a rain or shine field trip and I'm just like not dreading it, but I, I wish I'm praying out the weather. Praying the weather is just not actually, it's Tennessee, so you never know what could happen. Um, my foot has been bothering me all week. I actually haven't been to the gym this week because my foot has been bothering me. So probably an amusement park field trip is not a good idea. But I already told Lexi, I was like, my foot's really bothering me. Would it break your heart if I cancel? Because we already have two chaperones in our group with two chaperones for three children. And I was like, you know, one of her friend's moms is in our group. Like, they don't need one of us, technically, but our kids want us to go, so we're going. And so, 
she was like, yes, it would break my heart. You can rent a wheelchair. And I was like, well, are you going to push me? And she was like, if I have to, she's like, I want you to go. So we shall see. Um, today is like the best my foot's felt all week, but I've really not done anything today. Like I've been working on my phone. I haven't walked around other than like from my bedroom. I haven't gone anywhere, obviously. And, uh, so we'll see. But I already told her, I was like, I even thought about getting one of those like little scooters that you put your knee on and that way I could put pressure off my foot. But, uh, there just wasn't, I couldn't find anywhere locally where I could just get one of those. I meant to put tanning stuff on my face before doing this. I am full body tanning tonight because tomorrow I do not plan to wear a ton of makeup. I am going to wear some waterproof mascara and this shade does not match my body right now. This is the shade Cardamon and that's kind of my spray tan shade. Obviously not tanned. Nobody look at my hands. I might put some tanner just on my hands just to like I have to record all that content and I don't want it to be like, what happened to her face? Um, so, but it's been weird. This has been my first week where I really haven't gone and worked out. We've just had like a lot of family stuff going on and, um, it's just been busy and I was going to work out tomorrow, but now tomorrow's the field trip, which should be plenty of walking and working out. So do you guys do roller coasters? Are you, I got fast passes, um, for our group and that way, hopefully we don't spend our entire time in line. Um, all of their parents paid for their, uh, like everybody just chipped in and, you know, got their kid, their fast pass, but at least they have that option. And we went, the last time we went, it was like a 70 to 90 minute wait per ride. which is the worst. <laughs> and so I was like, okay, if we're going to do this, let's like let them have the most fun they can have in a day. What happened to my foot? Nothing. It just hurts. I have no idea what happened to it. It's not purple. It's not bruised. Um, it just hurts when I put weight on it. It hurts when I walk. It hurts if I'm like standing and kind of twist my body. It's like the outside of the top of my foot and the bottom arch of my foot. Um, my foot just hurts. I have no idea what I've done. So, anyway, so road trip, road trip for us. All right. <sighs> Do not underestimate the power of a bronzer. It is so good. go a little bit of brows because you always look more put together when your brows are done. I'm using the, I don't even know what this is called, Precisely My Brow by Benefit. So want to hear a story about me when I was in middle school? I had a field trip in middle school um, to an amusement park and my mom was the chaperone and I did, we were supposed to, she brought her best friend with her and I was supposed to meet her at a checkpoint at a certain time. And I decided I wasn't doing it, that I didn't want to hang out with my mom for the day. And this was in seventh grade and I got in so much trouble when we got home. Oh Lord mercy. I've never had a bigger whooping in my whole life. Um, Never again. That was it. That was my one rebel. I did it. I thought I was the coolest person. Had my first kiss on a roller coaster in like a black tunnel. Totally thought I was the coolest kid ever. And I was until I got home. Whew. Oh. Anyways, do any of you guys have a story like that? So I told, I told Lexi about my story. And I was like, listen. You better not run off. Well, Lexi's like, I'm not leaving you at all the whole time. Like, that's why I want you to come. Whereas I didn't want my mom to come. But I was a year older, so maybe things will change. 
Is that not funny? I would say I'm the biggest rule follower, maybe of all the friends I have, the people I know. And that was my one. I had another friend who was like, no, it's no big deal. Like, we'll be fine. Those, those people in your circle, they can make or break you. My person broke me. And then quickly after, so I did eighth grade in the public school system. And then in ninth grade through high school, I was homeschooled. So a little bit of dips on my cheeks. Um, I wonder if I've got some tweezers around here because my brows are crazy. Crazy brows. Um, things to do if you are also going to an amusement park at some point soon. Tomorrow, I'm going to spray my face with setting spray because you get hot and sweaty. I also will use a primer and I will use a setting powder. All of those help your makeup last longer when you are in high humidity, sweaty situations. I'm gonna, every day, I just have to shave it. This little, my little soul patch. Oh, I banged my ankle on the live about a week ago. Maybe that was the problem. I banged my inner ankle. Yes, I did. But it's my outer ankle that's hurting. So, but I am quite clumsy. I'm always carrying like 44 things at one time. And I run into like, well, you've probably heard like 10 times. I have bruises everywhere. I run into all the things. It's as if I don't know how big I am. Like, I have a dog that does this. Elvis, he runs into literally everything. And I compare myself to him often. So there's literally no telling what I ran into, what I have done to hurt myself. I have no clue. Who will? Hoping just time will help. Okay, a little bit of setting powder. Oh, for setting powder restocked. So if you have been wanting some, now is your chance. Do I have a tech service when I go live? You've asked about it. Yes. If you don't want to miss my lives, um, Melissa, you just go to CourtneySwan.com and at the very bottom, it will say sign up for text notifications. making sure that's all blended where I used a setting powder. Um, every now and then when you do that, if you do it after you've done your bronzer, sometimes I'll go back in and be like, huh, I need a little more, a little more brown. Also, especially when I'm not tan. <laughs> so clumsy. I am. I drop the, I'll be working on something and it's like my brain focused all my attention to that. And then I forgot I had something in my hand and whoop, there it goes. Um, it's crazy. I think some people do it more than others. And I'm one that I definitely, definitely do drop things more than others. All right, let's do a little bit of a Dune palette from Ophir. My hands are slippery. Okay, I'm just going in with this little warm brown color. If you feel like, oh, I got a lot on my brush, just move to the other side and kind of evenly distribute it so you don't have too much. Oh, you already ordered the Dune palette today. You have the perennial palette and you love it. They're beautiful. So this one's the Dune. You will love it. It's all neutrals and it's matte. And then the perennial palette from Ophir is shimmery and it has warm and cool tones okay going in with that lighter color on my lid okay. 
oh, you wore heels at Christmas and you did something to the ball of your foot, it still hurts. I feel like the older I'm getting, the more something like that happens. Or it's like, what'd you do? And you're like, I was walking or I turned my head. I hurt my neck last year. I just turned my head. That was it. Like, just like that to look at something. And I was like, am I going to have to have my spine like surgery on it? Or sleeping. We bought two new mattresses last year because my back hurts. And it was like you could buy it and try it. And I was like, this is not working. And so they would take it back for free. And then we bought a different one. And it's been a pretty good fit. And when we go out of town, I'm getting to the point to where it's like, did did you pack the fan? Yay. Like, or maybe we can order an egg crate or something when we get there in case the bed's uncomfortable. Or I have Uber Eats several fans. If I didn't have a car in the area, I do not like to be hot at night. I feel like my body gets about a thousand degrees after nine o'clock at night until about 7 a.m. And during that time, I have so many night sweats and I get so hot and uncomfortable. We keep it pretty cold in our bedroom and we have two fans going. And I cannot, and if I roommate with someone, I have to be like, like on a trip, work trip or something. I'm always like, so how do you like your room, hot or cold, you know? Um, does it bother you if it's really cold at night? Because basically I will sweat to death and cannot function and like have a panic attack if we're going to be at 75 in our bedroom. Like we might not be able to be roommates. Can put up with snoring doesn't bother me. You can put up if you want the TV on, if you want the TV off, if you want it dark, if you want to have four kids in the bed with me. Solid. I can handle all of it except being hot at night. Look at this. This is just two colors. Such a simple eyeshadow look, but it's so pretty. You can make it darker, moodier, anything you want. I'm sticking with this. Sometimes simple is just so beautiful. Okay, a little bit of a smudge proof mascara here. You always have a fan going at night for the noise, uh, but also freeze your husband out. I, I will do like a fireplace because I love, it's just cozy, right? In the winter, we'll put the fireplace on, but I'm like, it's too hot in here. So then I'll open up the window and then I'll have the fans on and then I'll shut the turn fireplace off because I can only handle it for a minute or two. It's beautiful, but I'm like, oh, I'm going to get too hot in here. Cooling sheets. That's the next thing on my list. I have sheets on my bed right now that are too big. I bought California King sheets. We don't have a California King bed, but I was thinking it would help it to be oversized so the pockets wouldn't slip. In theory, it was a genius idea, except it came in and they're so big that they just are like crumbly underneath you. And it gives you like this horrible, it's almost as if you have socks or balled up sheets under you. It's just awful. So I'm like, I need to get rid of those and put a different pair of sheets on my bed. I want to get, have you ever tried cooling sheets? Uh, what color is on my eyelid? Uh, it's from the Dune palette. I just use the lightest color and then the middle shade brown. I just start at the base and wiggle my way up for this Ophir mascara. Can't always even take them on trips. Yes, same. Like, I have to. It isn't even, like, optional. It's, it's like I have to figure out how to get my hands on one. I reserve it if we're at a hotel. Like, can you add a fan to our... They don't charge you. No, like, they only have so many fans. And if you want one of the first few to ask for one, you just won't get one. So I'm always like at check-in or even call before. This is when you know I really have a problem apparently. Um, oh, cooling mattress, cooling sheets, cooling pillows. If you have a good one you recommend, tell me. I will go try it out. I'll let you guys know how awesome it is. 
or not like the other mattress. I had planned to work with the first mattress brand. They um, paid a really good commission, you know, and I was like, okay, well, I could work with you. You know, let me see how I like it. I always try things before. Hated it. Sent that fella back. It's like, I do not want anyone to be, it was so hard. I could not even roll myself out of bed. My back was hurting every morning. It's like, I don't want anyone who follows me to get one of these things. And then the current mattress I have, Adam ordered, I don't even know what the brand is. I could look at the tag, but it's been good. Cozy Earth are great for keeping you cool, but they're pricey. Oh, but you slept in them and they're wonderful. My sister's used Cozy Earth before. I think she did that when she was pregnant with Nora. I saw Nora yesterday. Uh, she was at my mom's house. We bought a hot tub for the camp. And um, it was like an inflatable hot tub. And in theory, when we were renovating the camp, it sounded like a good idea. I was like, oh, our guests will love this. It'll be really easy. We could put a couple around the property. Then I was like, how are we going to keep these clean in between each guest? And I don't know. So it turned out it wasn't a great idea. So we gave one of the hot tubs to our yard guy there who has just been such a godsend um, to help with the property, helps clean up, helps um, just do a lot of things up at the camp, like lay mulch and helps with, you know, whatever we need help with. It doesn't matter. He helps, helps hang all the lights. I could go on and on. And so we gave one to him as like a Christmas present, like here, it never been opened or anything. So we had the second one and we brought it here. It's been in my trunk for a couple weeks. We we're going to use it here at our house. And I was like, are we realistically going to use this or is Elvis just going to eat it? Because we bought an inflatable slide last summer. Elvis ate it, poked holes all through it. Pumpkin, what are you doing? Come on. If you want it here, come here. Um, so Elvis ate holes in it. So I was like, what about my mom? I bet my mom would love because she got into a fight with a rooster <laughs> last year and she's still recovering. It was in like right before Thanksgiving, a rooster kind of flocked her and she was picking up Nora, my niece, and trying to save her. And my mom slipped and tore her hamstring and dislocated her shoulder. But she's still like not a pumpkin. Come on. What are you doing? Come on. Get down here. Come on. Um, And so... Oh, Connie, you got to meet him when you were there. Thanks for coming to our camp. Um, come on, get down. Come on. Um, also, Pumpkin has herpes and snots all the time. It is not contagious to humans or it is, I think, to other cats. But the other cat has it too, so it's irrelevant. But he sneezes and snots all the time. Come on, wipe your nose off. So, I have this like wipe off the cat's nose. He gets it everywhere, um, but you can't hate him for it because he can't help it. He was just born that way because of probably his little scandalous parents. And so he's just rubbing all over my foot. Um, this little snotty face. Uh, anyways, so gave my mom this hot tub and she was like, I have been praying for a hot tub. I was like, you're kidding. And oh, I called her and I was like, hey, I have a big old hot tub in the trunk of my car. I'm near your house. Would you want it? It just randomly, I was driving down the road and I was like, well, I was going to go to Trader Joe's. And I was like, well, I can't go to Trader Joe's because I have a hot tub in the trunk. It's like, are we going to use this hot tub? It's like, I need to call my mom and see if she would want this hot tub. So I called her. She's like, you are never going to believe this. Like, I have been praying for a hot tub. And I was like, well, it's your lucky day because I have a hot tub in my trunk and I can bring it to you right now. And so I brought her a hot tub and you would have thought, oh, pumpkin, you're going, you're going to pick my new jammies and they're going to have little things. Look, you made a little tear. Cat claws. I miss you too. You're such a nice snotty cat. He's like a dog cat, like always wants to be pet, always hopping up to sit in your lap, constantly wanting like affection, 
all the time. I'm gonna get a, a lipstick, but he is a good cat. Anyway, so I took my mom that. Nora picked me some dandelions. She's so cute. And she was like, what's wrong with your foot? I guess I was hobbling. And I was like, you know, I don't know. I don't know what I've done to it. And she was like, can I tell you something? She's four. I was like, of course. And um, cat hair. Uh, she was like, I bet you hit a rock and you didn't realize it. And it broke your foot. <laughs> I was like, maybe. Um, you can get antiviral medicine for your cat one of yours has it too when it gets bad they put them on I will look into it I had them looked at and they had said other than like I think it was there's some eye drops um he could have if he got an infection but they're like there's really nothing wrong you know but maybe there is something I could do I'll take a screenshot of that um you read yellow cats are the most affectionate I'm not kidding he is like rubbing his teeth on my like toes right now, his whole face, just everything. He is so snuggly. And then we have another cat named Penelope and she's my favorite, but she wants nothing to do with me. And I could probably go to like a psychiatrist to find out why is that something that I'm like, I'm going to get her to love me one day. Pumpkin, he wants to love him. Look, here he is again. Hi, you coming back up? Um, and Penelope's not. And I am just like, always like, come here, Penelope, come here. And, uh, but she doesn't want anything to do with me. Like, why do I want her attention? Almost because she doesn't want me. I want to prove to her, like, I could be a good lover. I'll love all over you. Uh, here we go. This is Barry. For those asking about eyeshadows, I'll look at the exact shade that I used. I used the shade Gibson. See the way they do it? I don't know if it's flipped which way. Like this is the label. So it's like if I read it this way, but technically that's mirror reversed. So really it's the easiest to tell you. I use the far left white shade and the one, two, three, third to the left middle shade in the Dune palette to achieve this look. All right, I should touch my... Boy cats are so much more lovable. He is boy cat. And he is. The other cat, it's just like, I just like, hey, 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 do not do that. That hurts. It's like on his belly trying to get my foot. Okay, I'm putting Barry on the outside. And then a little bit of whatever from the fear in the inside. I just like the two together. You can do whatever, whatever makes your heart happy. Come on, pumpkin. Come on, go do something else. Can you hear him? He sounds like a lawnmower. He is just very aggressive purr. So I kind of get it until it's the way I like it, which is a little bit of the pumpkin, a little bit of the more tan in the center in this. He, and he is a good cat. I do like him. They were both rescues. Um, it's just, he's a little bit like, he's definitely around and he eats everything. Like look, right now he's eating. Hey, don't do that. That's what I do when I flick them with water. I go, and I'll like get some water. So when I do it, he looks up like, does she have water? But they're on to me. My mom growing up, she kept a water gun. Hey, come on, don't eat it. Why do cats always want your attention when you're working or trying to get something done? It happens every time you're on 
a virtual reading for work. Oh, my cats do it, my kids do it, my dogs do it. Uh, pretty much all the things in my life, they do not want me unless I'm busy. And then everyone like can't get enough of me. Uh, all right, this is such an easy makeup look. Uh, pretend my hair is done and I have on a really cute outfit and jewelry. Can you imagine? Like I wish it was as easy as being like, but it's not. Um, so anyways, if you have questions about anything, I uh, hope you can send me a message. Hope you have a good day. If you need anything, let me know and I will talk to you. Oh, he just, don't bite my toes. Like bit my toenail in a nice way, but still, I guess like I don't have a tooth through my toe, but anyways, I'm gonna go get him. Like it's because he wants like wet cat food right now. He wants wet cat food all the time. It's just one of those. He's just a high maintenance cat. <laughs> okay, so this I think is a very everyday makeup look. This could be something very achievable. A recreate, you could wear this on repeat the rest of your life. And um, it'd be beautiful. But anyways, I'm gonna get ready. Kids will be picked up soon from school. I've gotta knock out this lunch content for these other tools. So at some point today, by the end of the day, when I go to get kids, they never know what they're gonna get. It'll be like bridge troll mom, looks like she's only been doing like stuff around the house or I've done content and I've done a video so I'm ready or if I've done hair, my hair is ready too. You should never know what type of mom I'm gonna roll into at car pickup. So today, if I knock all this stuff out, I am going to be the put together mom. And that'll probably be the day I don't run into anyone. So anyways, hope you guys have a good day. Bye guys.